past 12 months, the Community Foundation for Merseyside has been supporting the community of Speak through their Speak How to Speak Neighbourhood Challenge. In doing this, we have witnessed a community come together and do it for themselves. They have been the decision makers, and their ideas and projects have been brought to life. Instead of focusing on negatives, this funding gave us an opportunity to focus on local assets. The assets that are within people, neighbours, friends. The assets that have always been there and can't be taken away. This approach, combined with the low barrier to entry, has allowed a diverse range of projects to come together and make Speak a better place to live. Some have stemmed simply from ambition, some from need. We can safely say that all of them have came from passion. The Nesta Fund is working because the people who run that fund have come into our community and spoke to us. For the first time, people have come and said, we, what do you need? You tell us what you need and we'll help you to get it. It will improve the life of the kids, it will improve the life of the, the elderly, it will Im improve the community as a whole because one of the things that does not happen in this community is people don't work together anymore and this Nesta fund now has got people again working together. From what I've seen from Nesta, the intentions that they have for group community work is really uh, of a high level and just their small input to guide the people within these groups who are from you know, working class backgrounds and many are just young mums or dads who are just thinking what can I do and I think that support has been fantastic and it's, it's engaged them and the groups that we have now in Speak are talking together and we have a Speak Out for Speak blog which is encouraging us to network together as a unit rather than as individuals sort of being lost in the sea, you know, shouting for help. It was um, hugely important, the funding, because it's very hard to fundraise for things that aren't really as glamorous as, say, taking the kids out on trips, and, um, but they're very important to the running without health and safety and like the renovation of the building. It's hard to attract new people and to stay open. The Adventure Playgrounds plays a huge role in the area um, and the parents are made up to have somewhere to go and sit outside in the nice weather and look after the kids and they can play and they can also speak to friends because a lot of them are isolated, they don't work. So um, it has had a huge impact on the wider community. The funding, especially because of the community challenge, it's enabled us to work with other community groups across the speak area and um, you know form a better community than what, what previously existed. Um, and now I'm linking in with other groups that have received the funding from the Nesta Challenge and um, we're hoping that in the future we're going to pull off some performances together. Without the funding, we just wouldn't be here. Obviously, as a parent in the local area, um, I haven't got funds available myself. Um, by having the funding, it then um, made our dreams possible and made the parents hub in this area. And with this venue being a brand new venue and the parents hub being a brand new project, it's given them the initiatives to come in um, and try new things and become part of our community in the hub. There is a need in the area to start um, to have certain provisions in the area. By introducing um, hobbies and sport, we can then hopefully address them issues through the professional organisations. We've had a massive hit over the last 12 months regarding funding as a whole, where unemployment is being brought into our environment due to redundancies. So we acknowledged that it was getting more and more difficult to be able to bring in the funding streams to make those particular pieces of work uh, sustainable or to start them off in the first place. So without that funding being part of uh, the development, one or two of them may have not been able to continue. Whereas with that funding now, we can say that all three uh, have a future. Opportunities like this don't come along often, and thankfully the community of Speak have grabbed it with both hands. Hopefully the legacy of the challenge will remain for some time in Speak, but most importantly the impact of the support, nurturing and friendships this challenge has allowed will have paved the way for a community to feel empowered and engaged for years to come. We cannot thank Nesta enough for this opportunity, for all the support, advice and guidance throughout the past 12 months, and we are very proud to have been a part of the Speak Out Speak Neighbourhood Challenge.